Welcome to Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today as we enter the midpoint of the Asian session. It's the 28th of November 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's come across the news wires today. Of course, that soft session overnight in the US, all indices finishing slightly to the downside, no significant data to drive markets either way. That ramps up over the next few days. We are seeing online retailers outperform on sales from Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and the Israel Hamas truce extension may help sentiment today, we suggest. US futures, possibly because of that, are slightly higher in Asian trading. Asian markets are generally higher. The ASX is up around three quarters of 1%. The European futures are pointing to a cautious open, but slightly positive, and the VIX moves lower to around about September support. The US dollar index continues to look weak and is testing support. Gold closed at six months highs yesterday, just under that 2020 level and is eyeing 2050 now, perhaps as the next key level. Copper is struggling to breach 385. It's been stuck underneath that resistance for a few days now. Oil is weaker and again remains within the short term range. And we have got OPEC plus meeting this week. Bitcoin is at the top of short term range, still testing 38,000 which is a key level, of course. Australian retail sales are out. Later on, we've got US housing data. And a few of the Fed members are speaking. I think three are speaking tonight. That may move markets, but not by so much, I would suggest. Markets will be focused on the highlight of the week, which is the Fed's favourite inflation number, the PCE. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Adairs continue to do well on the ASX, ticker code ADH. You can see there, it was our chart of the day yesterday. It breached 151, got continuation of that. And it looks set to possibly get up to 170 and test that 200 moving average, which would be, even from today's price, a very acceptable 8%. Uh, so, again, one to keep an eye on towards the back end of the trading session to see if this momentum continues. In the FX world, we like the look of the Australian dollar yen on the hourly chart. You can see we've tested this S1 pivot twice at 97.86 it doesn't look convincing this bounce off it as you can see this candle is starting to push back down to it so we think this is a potentially high probability trade if it breaches 97.86 possibly 36 to 40 pips down to the s2 pivot level trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now